Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna show you about uh, WordPress, how it goes, uh, how it works, and I'm gonna make a tour of it. So, let's dig in. Okay, I'm gonna show you first the front end of the website. Uh, let's say this, this website. The website itself. It is called front end. And the website has a tolerance, has a form, and then there's a videos, a sample videos. And this is my team. From the us here. And then when you click this two warrants, it will lead you uh, it will lead you to the another page. Uh, for example, when we, we will click, when I click this C portfolio, it will lead to my biography. See that? You can go back. And if you click the fill up form here, it will drag you down to the form where you put uh, information or the client information so that that is the front end the front end of the website you know you know already that is the website itself the next is we're gonna go to the back back end of the website the back end of the website is the web wordpress which is our topic now Okay, this is the plugin, backend of the website, of the WordPress. Plug it in. So, this is the WordPress backend, the dashboard. And then, to be able to make a website, you have to install the required plugins. Uh, I'll show you the plugins that I have installed. These are the plugins that I have installed. Uh, contact from 7, disable button work, editor, invado elements, essential add-ons for editor, hello Dali, uh, hello Dali, uh, I think this is a built-in in the WordPress, and the template link. The contact from 7, purpose of this is, uh, did you see uh, this form? I made this form to the contact form 7 this is the, the purpose of that plugins the disabled button work is uh, because I don't like the updated uh, editor of the WordPress I want to go back to the classic editor so I need to disable button work so I installed disable button work because it will lead you back Lead you back to the classic editor of the WordPress. The Elementor is the Elementor website. is a website builder, a drag and drop page builder, Excel perfect design, mobile responsive editing, and more. So the Elementor, it is a website builder. Invato Elements, uh, Invato Elements is uh, can help you. Uh, Help you make easier because in what elements has has this uh, templates, free templates, free blocks, free um, uh, advanced table and there. And then it's a template kits that is found in the in what elements. Essential add-ons for Elementor. This will uh, uh, useful for useful for this Elementor plugins. So <clears throat> next is we gotta go to the pages. These are the pages that I have created. Uh, eight pages. So I'm gonna show you a sample of editing by uh, Elementor. Elementor plugin. So we're gonna try this. Did you like 
page. I'm gonna right, right click it and then open link in a new tab so that this this window will stay. Okay, stand by. Okay, I'm gonna show you the the widgets of the Elementor. This is the Elementor Elementor Builder. I'm gonna show you how to how to add a uh, the image here. First is click the uh, the image. If you want to change the icon, just click the choose image. And then if you have your own image, you want to to change there, just click just click upload files. So files and then if you want to use just click it let's say this then click insert media i think it is not uh, Wish to change if you want to change the size of the image, just go over here, just select whatever you want to. Okay. Full or you, you want the custom, then you drop the, the size you want to here and then apply just like that. And then this button, I'm gonna show you how it works. Close the button. When you take this button, it has the true uh, three options: the content, style, and the advanced. All the stuff that you that you use as is a uh, three option. Each of the, each of those, which is the content, the style, and the advanced. When you click the, the button, stuff is gonna lead you to this option. If you want to change the size, just go to the content, then go to the icon spacing. Ah, uh, I mean, just go to the style, typography, and then the size. You want to change the, the text? Let's go the content. Then change the text. If you if you if you see that there is a there is a fix when you hover the mouse, right? I'm gonna show you that. Just go to the style, and then click the hover. See. The text color is white, you see, and then the color of the button has gone when you hover the mouse here because the color of the button is transparent. You see it in the transparent. This is gonna. This is how you change the color of the button. I change it to the black, and then it goes black. See? And then the thing that something is going on in hover is in the hover animation. The hover animation was selected the uh, shrink. So the button when you hover it will shrink. When you change it pulse, it will pulse. When you change it pulse grow, it will pulse grow. Just click whatever you want. Then, if you want to wish, you click this button, and it lead you to the here, see here, or here. Just click this nine dots icon, then search for the anchor. Anchor. 
ini si Gunter gitu jual just jual ke rumah dia ini boleh sih name it uh, Edward si Edward uh, no change it about me and then go to the bottom go to the content change the link into hashtag and then about me update it and let's try it you see you'll drag it down you see this uh, caption you can see it color is too dark blends to the background you can change the color by clicking this icon then go to the style you see the text color just click it then change it change the size simple just click the typography then you see the sign for water like that then update okay that's it thank you for watching